All right, all right. What's up, guys? Are we live? Can you hear me? I, I tried to come in with my normal song, but I don't hear it. Producer Rohan, so so maybe we can work on that one. But what's up, everybody? We are back at it today. We are talking some hot stocks today. We're going to be making some live trades on the show. We've got two guests coming on. That's right, two to get, to get the trade ideas running. Because again, I'm going to start today with the way that I start every single day, uh, and that is to remind everybody of oh, the point of the show. Why are we spending the, these 45, 50, 60 plus minutes together every single day? It's because we want this to be the best trade idea resource out there. That's what we're going for. Ideas not just coming from myself. I'll keep them flowing. I, I promise I'll get them flowing. Uh, but not just from myself, not just from Jason, uh, but most importantly, out of Zinger Nation, out of the community that is all of you out there who are here with us on this trading journey. We're going to get the ideas going. We're going to make some money, and, and that's the guarantee. So, guys, go ahead and start dropping in some tickers you want us to look at, you want us to cover in the chat today, uh, and we will get those pulled up. Um, but but a quick little preview. Uh, we're going to do a quick little portfolio update. Uh, I've got two stocks that I'm going to be buying live on the show. These are two stocks that came out of our guest yesterday. I, I said I was adding them to the homework sheet. I, I added them to that homework sheet. I've got two that I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger on today. Um we're going to be talking about ticker T-A-A-T, TAT. That's a really small cap stock, if you guys recall. We, we had a member of Zinger Nation, that's all of you out there on the show, pitch this stock live. Uh, he actually mailed us a product sample. Uh, so, so we received the product sample last night. Uh, so, so we are going to go ahead and, and talk about that stock. Um, and, and then we're going to get to a couple guests. And last but not least, of course, we are going to be checking in on our chat challenge the question of the week was who can most closely guess the price of bitcoin at this time on friday right we've got a few days bitcoin's having a turbulent week obviously again the question is who can most accurately guess that price of bitcoin it was at thirty-five thousand dollars when we threw the challenge out there still hanging out right around there we've got a couple hundred guesses the winner is going to take home some btc that's right we, we will be sending you some bitcoin for whoever can most closely guess the price and so we will be doing an update on that as we get cooking today um but without further ado let, let's hop into it let, let's get rolling and, and producer rohan can i get the the comment screen up please so that way i can can see there um but but let, let's do a quick little portfolio update let, let's get my live portfolio up on the screen here uh and and it's a super boring day it, it, like we're just hanging out flat there, there's Nothing exciting happening, um, you know. Let's let me do a, my quick little spy check. It looks like we're maybe getting some movement right now. Yeah, so we got spy is flat at, at, at point one. Um, you know the the port, our live portfolio again. This is the the live interactive brokers account that I'm showing you guys every single day. We're making trades in every single day. Nothing interesting happening at all, either on the upside or the downside. Here here's the top half of the portfolio. Um, Here's the bottom half of the portfolio. Um, again, not, nothing super crazy happened. We're, we're you know, j just sort of hanging out in no man's land, pretty, pretty much as, as flat as we can be. Uh, a, a couple quick updates. Um, PayPal. PayPal's finally getting a little bit of movement today. I'm telling you guys, I think that PayPal is going to be a sleeper out of this crypto boom. That's PYPL. Uh, they, again, they, they allow users to, to buy and sell cryptocurrency. They allow their vendors uh, uh, to, to um, uh, take payment in cryptocurrency, right? That they, They've got, I don't know, millions of, of vendors who, who accept it. So I think that PayPal is going to be a sleeper on this cryptocurrency boom. I, either the market's going to figure that out, and that's when we get the, the run-up in the stock, or we have to wait till the next earnings date, which I believe is early February. Um, but but we are finally starting to see a little bit of life out of our PayPal position. Yesterday we added Delta Airlines again, the the catalyst for adding Delta to the portfolio, uh, and we added Southwest. Uh, uh, we, we we added both of those basically because we're seeing more travelers in January than we did in December, which I think is really interesting. Talk about pe people getting back on the road. Um, you know, December obviously has all the holiday travel. We saw a big spike up then, but there are more people traveling in January than in December. That is a positive catalyst for, for those guys. Can, can you guys hear my soundboard, by the way? I, I'm, I'm throwing it out there. I, give, give me a heads up. Oh, there we go. All right, now we got it. Um, and then the last thing, small banks. I'm, I'm going to reiterate what, what we said a couple weeks ago about small banks. Uh, I, I think that the small bank stocks are really interesting around this PPP2 time. 
right? So 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 PPP one that that's when the government gave businesses a ton of money, just just a ton of free cash to keep them afloat and everything locked down when we ran into the COVID COVID issues uh, with, with commerce. They're doing it again. They're back at it. Round two on PPP. What makes this one different and even better for these small uh, community bank stocks, right? These are banks that that exist in some small geography. They have anywhere from five to 15 branches. There are literally thousands of them that are publicly traded. That's right. Thousands are more publicly traded small banks than anything else. Uh, but but PPP round two is only available to community banking institutions. So 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 the big guys like, like, like the chases and that sort of thing, they're not even going to have access to deliver these funds out to their clients for a while. So 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 there's the move. That's why I like the small banks. First air horn of the day. Um, and, and I want to show you guys, uh, I'll, I'll throw out a couple of tickers. Whenever I'm looking at small banks, I, I go to Banking on Profit. That, that is is a product that Tim Melvin runs. He is the bank guy. Um, I, mean, I mean, he knows these small banks better than anybody. I mean, it, it's incredible. He worked in the industry for decades. Now all he does is he analyzes and, and writes research on these stocks. So, so, so I'll, I'll sneak you guys. He might not like this, but I'll, I'll give you a couple of tickers. Uh, his, his, the three most recent tickers that he still has open in his portfolio are MSVB, that's Mike, Sandy, Victor, Bravo, EBC, that's Echo, Bravo, Echo, Bravo, Charlie, and EVBN, that's Echo, Victor, Bravo, November. So again, I, I think that, that PayPal is a sleeper. I think airlines not really a sleeper, but I think there is room because we're seeing that, that upside. And then small community banks, these are the three positions that I've put on recently that, and that I think are especially interesting right now and, and and i think that that we have jason here as well is, is that right aaron thomas can you can you give me a, a can you hear me? i hear you what is up what is up now these stocks that i'm in that come from the show are moving substantially today substantially luke okay i'm back in the office i know it was yesterday in the reserve room you know down in the they locked me up and they put me in the basement, but today I'm back in the office. But let's go over them a little bit. ENG up another 19% today. We bought that live on the show at $3.18. Um, and we are up a whopping 145% on this stock. 145% of the stock. If you're listening right now, hit the damn like button. I mean, that is awesome. That came from Jack Hurley, uh, my boy, Jack's Capital. You guys got 160. Hit the like, share it. Let us know you're there because right now we don't see you there. So smash that like. We're gonna go over a couple more that are are, are rocking today, Luke. Uh, All right, CLS, let's hit them. Let's hit them. CLSK. Hey, and let, let's up, get let's get uh, uh, my screen up on the stream too, please. Yeah, pull it off the chart. I would love to see a pro. Ben, you know, that, yeah, he's on the Benzinga Pro Pro .com. If you're listening to this show live, you can get a discount. Just email VIP accounts at Benzinga.com, or do you have a code for them, Luke, for a discount? Um, I don't know. We, anyways, CLSK is up another 9% today. Peloton's up 7% today. My cannabis play that I've been giving you guys since $3, TRSSF, is up another 7% to $12. $12. This is a 293% gainer for me. 200, 293% Boom. I, I trimmed my shares in by 40% when it hit 10, but I kept the rest. So I have 60% still in, in, in play. And that is a huge gain. Amazon moving. AAXN. I don't know what AAXN is. Do you know what that is? I, I bought call options on the, yes, on the show that, yesterday. Yes, that is, I, I believe that is the uh, uh, body cam one. Yeah, they, they sell yes. stuff to police. You, you basically, the, the thesis on this one was that there, there was a ton of protests planned. Uh, you know, I think they, they do, I don't know if they do cameras or if they do the tasers or one of the two, if anybody in the chat there, chat, there yeah, it goes. Yeah, no, that, the tasers. you're right, you're that, that, yeah, tasers, that's, and I got it because of the show, I bought it yesterday and you guys said to buy it, it's up four bucks today, the call, I bought the March, uh, 135s, I bought, I don't know, $3,000 worth, we're up 121% on those options, 121% from the show that I bought yesterday, I mean, that, that's real, ENG, I bought call options on ENG. Not a bunch, but they're up 81% today. So SWBI, I bought call options on that. And you guys heard me. I bought it yesterday. They're up 32% today. Um, VYGVF, up another 1%. Um, now I'm going to go to some of the losers because who gives, you know, we talk about just winners. The ones that are, you know, coming down today, 
BNGO hasn't really taken off. It's up down 4% today. OSW down 4% today. VSTO down 1.7% today. Um, LMB down 1.7% today. Um, those are my negatives. Uh, Tesla down a little bit. And that's kind of what I got going right now. Well, well Jason, um, I'm glad that you have some action today. I have the most boring portfolio of all time today. <laughs> look, no, look, look at my PL, have... 30 bucks. I mean, like, like it, it can't get more flat than that. And, like, look at the most gainers are one, one and a half point zero. I mean, it's a boring ass day for me. All right. My PL, if we're going to do it that way, when the show started, my PL was up 3,200. Now, with the show going, it's down 1186. Don't know what just changed, but something changed. Um, That's like a spy yeah. type move. Yeah. Um, in TRS, at, oh, yeah, look, Jeff Nowak, a, a, Tony, a, he's in at TRS, that's up at $2.14, up 458%. Jason, you have two great cannabis stocks, as Cure Leaf is huge. Make, yes, Cure Leaf's, uh, we, let's bring on the chairman of Cure Leaf next week. I'm friends with him. He was on our other event. All we right, all right, on. Aaron Bryan, then, that's a shout out. Chairman of Cure Leaf. He's on, he's on Twitter, you, but you can, if you can't get a hold of him, ask Patrick. He'll get, you can make it easy, but he'll respond to you. He's a nice guy. Bring on the chairman of Care Relief. Um, we also will bring on the GHIV CEO as well. Um, that's another one. Uh, I don't know what AACQ is. You zippity doo dah. You say I can thank you later. Well, listen. See, like that's. I want to put that in our trading idea system, but John G refuses to finish that page. Uh, AACQ. I want to buy it because zippity doo dah likes to call me out sometimes. Pull up AACQ. Let's see what this thing is. Yep. Um, AACQ. It's um, looks like a spac. It's a SPAC. Okay. I'll buy it just so um, zippity doo dah is held accountable. And I use Benzinga Pro, guys. So here's what I do. I'll buy shares, and I'll put next to it zippity doo dah to said to buy it. And then that's what – because there's a notes field, and the notes field is very important to me because I know how I got into the stock. And so there you go, zippity doo dah. I don't know why I'm buying this AACQ, but I just bought it. I bought it for you. Tilray up 67% today. Let's see what Tilray is doing, Luke. Um, are you guys trading heavy right now? Are you guys moving the, the markets? Yeah, Tilray's not 6%. It's up 15% today. I mean, I don't know what this guy's talking about. But um, so that's what I got going. Are you guys smashing that like button? Because I don't see it. Now, Luke, we had a couple things that you had on your agenda. Let's keep going to your agenda right now. All right. So, like I said, I am having a boring – oh, man, there we go. All right, like I said, I'm having a very boring portfolio day today. I'm going to spice it up a little bit, um, and I'm actually going to be taking two SPAC positions today, opening them up for the first time. They came from our guest yesterday, the, our, our guest from Atlas Trading. The first one that I'm going to be getting awesome into. Awesome guest. Awesome guest. That was, that was uh, what's his name? That was awesome guest. Ripster. Yeah. Ripster. I want to say Napster. Ripster. Yep. Yep. Keep so, going. so, 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 two positions I'm going to be putting on. Uh, the first one is ticker ACAM. Again, it's a SPAC. That's Alpha Charlie Alpha Mike. That is the company that's buying car lots. We we have the mergers coming up on January 20th. So there is a catalyst there. Uh, th this stock is is advertised as the Carvana killer. That 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 that's sort of the the tagline to use as you think about ACAM. That they have incredible revenue growth, um, and and there's just so much energy into this name. Uh, the, the the stock's right around twelve dollars right now. The the par value of the SPAC is around ten, so I am buying it at a premium. Again, the catalysts that I, that I'm watching out for. There's a couple on the on the the short term time horizon. Um, first, we're, we're gonna have the merger. On the January 20th, we're going to have the ticker change on January 22nd. And then, of course, their first earnings report as a true public company. Those are all hot catalysts. And again, there there is a lot of momentum behind this name. So, so producer Rohan, uh, if I can get my, my screen up on the stream, I'm going to go ahead and throw this first one in, that first buy on ACAM. But wait, there's more. I, I said I'm doing two. I've got a second SPAC play that I'm making. This one is post merger. So so basically I'm 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 straddling myself a little bit in between the time horizons and this is going to be Clover Health ticker Charlie Lima Oscar Victor we've had so many guests on the show talking about this one and and this is basically a, a healthcare tech play that I and and this is a space that I very badly want 
uh, exposure to. There, there is so much money that floats around in, in, in healthcare. I mean, it's, it's unreal. And, and, and like, you know, we, we might think that finance is sort of in the dinosaur ages a lot of the time. And, and, you know, stuff takes, when, when technology comes out, it doesn't hit finance for 10 years later, healthcare, like technology doesn't hit healthcare for like 30 years later. Right. I, I come from a medical family and, and the amount of work that they still do all on paper, Right. And, and like they, they still fax every day, all day. They're, they're, their offices are just faxing things. They're, they're, there's so much money to be made in healthcare technology. So CLOV is, is the first position position that I'm going to take to get exposure there. Um, so 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 there's the trade. Uh, I'm just starting off with, with 200 shares in each of those positions. And there they are. They are through. So so big shout out. Thank you to Ripster yesterday. <laughs> Throwing those two names on my radar, and, and those are the two SPAC plays I'm adding to the portfolio. And again, hopefully this will spice up my portfolio life a little bit, because it's it's, it's a little dreary, boring right now. Yeah, wait, wait, yeah. we don't hear you, Jason. Say, say it again. Now I hear you. I'm an owner of ACAM. I've been an owner of ACAM for a few days. No, not really much move on it. Uh, medium size position up 0.19%. But I want to go to a stock that the chat was going crazy about, or some people were. C O U V. It's an O T C stock, okay? O T C stock. C O U V. And they're talking about patents and all this stuff. And and, and let's throw this one out really quick. If you guys like C O U V, give us a one. If you don't like it, give us a two. And if you don't know what it is, give us a three. I I don't yeah. know this one at all. But keep going, Jason. Okay. So and and what I was saying to it, they were talking about it in, on the show, and one of the guys pitched it, and and I didn't like it because it was at like uh, thirty nine cents, and I'm like. If this company really has the patents and stuff that it has, it's not at 39 cents. So I um, like, but everyone kept bringing it on the show every day and I still didn't. And it was like, they're pitching super fast battery charging for Tesla's. I can do it in like two minutes. I just didn't believe the story in the sense that it's at 39 cents. But honestly, there were so many people talking about it. So I bought some shares and I've been trimming it. It's down 24% since I bought the stock. I originally think I bought like 15,000 or 20,000 shares. I'm now down to 7,000 shares for a total of $2,000. I just think that, you know, they're, they're like the story that the, you can tell any story you want, but what's reality? And, and oh, so it was Zippity Doodah. You sent me the article on it. That's right. So I bought this stock because of you. You were the guy. Okay. So I bought it at 39 cents and it is, oh no, 42 cents. It's down to 31 cents. So I'm hanging on to a little bit of it, but it so far has been a dog, a dog. So I am not a big believer in the COUV, but zippity doo dot is. Hopefully he's right, and hopefully I'm wrong, but I because I own some of the shares. So I just you know these these battery plays we can get excited about them, but reality comes true where you have to like produce revenue and get sales. Maybe they'll have some great revenue, but if Zapgo Tech has been proven then the stock should follow and it should be at $2 and maybe it will be. I'm just telling you where I'm at on it right now, where I am at it, on it. So that's where I'm at. So that's COUV. It's been a, a dog, a big, 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 big dog. Um, Jack, I know Jack met, Jack didn't mention it. Someone else mentioned it to Jack and said, what do you think about COUV? And Jack didn't know about it that much. He went and researched it and saw they had some patents. That's what happened. I can, I, it's on, it's on, it's recorded. Um, Jack did not originally mention it. We can go look. Um, I am shocked, though, Luke, at some of these gains that ENG up almost 200%. Um, I mean, literally, up almost 200%. It's so quickly. GBTC. Oh, these gains are, um, you know, just crazy for us. I do want a trade alert. I just sold some shares. I think we need a trade alert button. So I just sold. I gave on the show, Luke, when I was in Miami, I came on one day. And I told you I was buying Office Depot, all right? Because these guys were going crazy about how they redid their model. It's a it's a B two B supply chain company, and I also sent it. I sent it to Tom Nash. I sold ten percent of my position today. It's up sixteen percent since we bought it. And for that kind of stock to move that quickly, I thought I should take something off the table. So I sold ten percent of the position uh, just now. Office Depot. Just letting you know. Oh, for a nice gain. But all right, Jason, I, I, I've got an exciting next segment. I, okay. I, I, I got I to gotta stretch out. I got to warm up a little bit for this one. Luke, can I get like six likes? We're at, we're at 51 likes. Can I get us to like, can I get to 70 or 50 likes? We went down uh, with 51. I see 50. 
Can we get to 70 likes, guys? It would be much appreciated. Okay, continue. Yep. All right. So, so, so let me let me stretch out. Let me get we get get warmed up. I, I've got an exciting next segment here. This is something that that I've been building for 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 I guess the eight weeks that we've been on this show. There's my drum roll. There's, there's my air horn drum roll. All right, let's go. Big segment. Again, I always say this show is all about the community. It's all about Zinger Nation. It's about getting trade ideas flowing. Uh, uh, a couple weeks ago, we started bringing Zinger Nation, everybody out there in the chat, live onto the show uh, to, to, to start doing quick stock picks. Our, our very first guest that came on. And break, break, breaking news alert. A firm is live right now. It's trading up $43.89% at $92.83. That's symbol, a firm, whatever the symbol is, A-F-R-M. It's live, okay? Thank you. Go ahead, Luke. Yep, and, and and Tony from Toledo, first guest that came on, because we give all of our guests nicknames, so, so if you come on, you, you get a nickname. Uh, he, he pitched a small, little-known stock, um, ticker T-O-B-A-F. I, I think we asked the chat if anybody knew the stock, and literally nobody did. Uh, it's TAT is what it's called, T-A-A-T. Again, the ticker is Tango Oscar Bravo Alpha. Uh, Frank, um, can, we, can we get my screen up on the stream, please? All right, Tony from Toledo. Not only pitched this stock, but we asked him to send us a sample. This company makes a, a cigarette alternative. So, so they make cigarettes that have no tobacco in it, no nicotine. It is just, uh, uh, it's basically a hemp cigarette. It, it's, it's supposed to, to basically taste and smell like cigarettes. Gave that same smoking sensation. Uh, we, we had a, a couple members of Benzinga test it out last night. Uh, but but he, here's the live product. Ch check this out. Uh, let me move around a little bit. So, so here's the product that he sent us. Again, this is this is their cigarette alternative. I'm gonna pull one out. Here's what it looks like. Okay, and again, it, it looks and, and smells exactly like a cigarette, but but it, it has no no tobacco, no nicotine in it. it it's simply made out of hemp. Uh, it's the 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 product is on sale in Ohio only. So so just hit stores in Ohio. Um, and so this is one that we're going to be watching again. The the reviews from from the Benzinga folks who like this one or, or who tried it, they said it. it they're, they're smokers. They said it did feel like smoking a real cigarette. So so the the thing to watch out for on this one, in my opinion, is how do these Ohio sales go? If if the product sells in Ohio, there's no reason that it won't sell in other states. So you can buy the stock up to like 40, 50 times sales at that point. I think so. That's the catalyst I'm watching for. Big shout out to Tony from Toledo. Not only coming out here and pitching his stock, but also setting us a product. And producer Rohan tells me that we have another guest from the chat uh, who's ready to come on the stream, make his first appearance on the Power Hour, and, and give us the stock pitch. And before the stock pitch, ap after the stock pitch, I'm bringing up a Tesla trade, an option that I own, own and I need the community help with what I should do. I own an option that has, is very profitable, and I want the community help. So at around 1246, we're going to do the... Tesla option trade uh, to help my portfolio. Okay, go ahead. Luke. All right, Andrew. You go. Yeah, you got to introduce the guest. Thank you for having me. Uh, this is, yeah, my first time doing this, but uh, I want to look at uh, ticker L N L L S F. The company is Nell wait, wait, based wait, wait. out hold of. On, hold on. No, wait, you're going too fast. Yeah, do, do one more time on the ticker, and, and the chat help the chat. If you're in the chat, help the chat. Type the ticker in the chat. But but all right, Andrew, give me the ticker. The ticker is N L L S F. All right, we have it up. N E L A S A. It's O T C listed. Uh, all right, hit hit us with the pitch, and while you're pitching us, I'm gonna think of your nickname. Okay, your your power hour nickname. Sounds great. Looking forward to it. So uh, if we all remember uh, the famous Nikola that boomed so early in the summer, uh, saw that thing skyrocket, and I wanted to know why that thing was skyrocketing. And of course, it had to do with the excitement around battery tech and alternative fuels. So one of the problems with Nikola is it needs an extensive infrastructure. It needs something to actually fuel uh, those hydrogen uh, cells. And so I started asking myself, who's building this? Um, as I started doing some research, I found the company Nell. Uh, but the big question is, is there actually a hydrogen economy out there? I think there is actually a hydrogen economy out there, not just here in the U.S., who I think is actually behind. But if you look at Europe and where governments are spending their money, you look at Korea and Australia, 
uh, hydrogen fuel cell stations are already going up. People like Toyota are, you know, propagating uh, uh, the Toyota Mirai, which runs on hydrogen. And I think there's just increased growth here. We've seen plug take off, which I'm also excited about. Uh, and so if there is a hydrogen economy, why Nell? Well, there's something, something called the uh, Hydrogen Council based in Europe. And this is a group of companies that are basically working together to put this uh, economy together. And Nell already has a couple of their board members sitting on that council. Uh, European governments are spending a lot of money on this. Another ticker to watch would be ITMPF. It's ITM Power out of uh, United Kingdom. Uh, but Nell has uh, er an Everfuel contract and also a contract with the U.S. Navy that they recently post. Since investing in June, I'm up 81%. Over a year, Nell is up 265%. And over the last five years, they've been up 913%. So that is my pitch for ticker NLLSF. All right, and, and you know that I have to throw this one out to the chat. Andrew, you, you're, you're on trial by public opinion, guys. If, if you like this stock, you like the pitch, throw us the one. If you don't like it, throw us the two. Um, but, but there it is. And, and, and say what, what was that second ticker again? The second ticker to watch would be ITMPF. All right, so, so, so the company is ITM are... Power. Those are the stocks, and for everybody who comes onto the show to pick a, to pitch a stock, I promise you two things: one, you get the floor is yours to talk about whatever stock you want; two, you get a, a hot stocks Luke nickname handcrafted. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this one out there. It's aggressive. It's abominable, Andrew. How do you like that? Boom! Hard hitting. I, I can receive it. There we go. All right, all right. So 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 we're mixed in the chat. Um, Oh, Zing Drew. Okay, that, 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 that's a good one. Instead of Andrew, Zing Drew. Somebody's throwing that na nickname out there. Yeah, if you guys have other nicknames, uh, throw them out there too. And please, oh, please smash that like for Andrew. Coming out of his comfort zone, coming on the power hour uh, in, in front of all of you judgmental people to, to pitch his stock. Um, so, so, so there it is. Um, and, and somebody say this is a market cap under $5 million. I think it's, it's just under $5 billion, the market cap. Can you confirm that's the case, Andrew? Uh. Sorry, one more time. Mar market cap on this one is about five billion. Is that right? Uh, yes, five point six one. All right, so so there we have it. Round of applause. Let's go. Everybody sitting at home by yourselves, give, give Abominable Andrew a round of applause, and we hope to have him back on the show, because that was a good stock pitch. And again, guys, I, I want to get this going every single day. I want some member of the community to go out of their comfort zone, you know, come on here, pitch a stock, uh, the email address, we have a new email now. It's powerhour at benzinga.com, powerhour at benzinga.com. Send us that now? email. It's live, baby. Yes. Am I, am I, I'm on it and stuff? Yes, yes, yes. Does, does like Aaron and Rohan get it and stuff so they can, and Aaron Bry and everything? Oh, yeah. We're all on it. Sorry. Okay, awesome, Andrew Nielsen. C come on again. Next pick. You are great. You are to the point. We appreciate it. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yep. All right, Jason. All right. And before we hop over to our next guest, you, you teased us with a Tesla options trade. Hit it. Before the Tesla options trade, Luke, I want you to pull up a chart for POWW. All right. I have it up. Can we get it on the stream, please? All right. 42% today, POWW. Let's go. What about yesterday, Luke? Check it out. All right, here's the one-year chart. This thing has moved. All right, wow. Luke. Wow. Luke, your friend Jason, it's me, on Thursday last week texted it to Dave Portnoy. Can we read this? I text. Sort of. It's a little small. I said, I said, Dave, if you want any more stock ideas for DTG, I just added some below. No idea. It's text you so. Buy POWW, ammo company, uplisted to major exchange, Raise guidance, record backlog of 130, 135 million, and they're building a plant like in Wisconsin. Uh, Chris Kaji gave this one to me. That was last Thursday. It's up 80% since then. I'm telling you guys, if you just buy the stock, when I say it, you'll be, you'll be happy. And so here it is. I mean, this is the stock, quotes.benzinga.com, up a 42%. I bought Ammo Place. I bought SWBI. I bought, you know, you guys know what I bought. So 
I'm giving you the legit stories what I buy. I mean, I'm going to have losers, but a lot more winners than losers. Um, so now can I, give, can, I give the, can I give the Tesla trade? Yep, get, get, give us the Tesla trade. All right, so I own, let me, maybe I should share my screen on this one. Um, yeah, pull, pull up me, your screen. Okay, let me just get set up for it. It's going to show dollar amounts and stuff. Is that okay? You're okay with that, Luke? I'm okay with that. I'm trying to put it so... One second, one second. One second. Give me some music. All oh, right, all music. Right, music? Music, you said? Yep, as I pull up the screen. I've been waiting to use this one. And that's as much as we can play to not get the copyright. <laughs> <laughs> was was that enough time? Right. Was that enough music? We, we, we let it go right. for another right. second, we get a copyright complaint. All right, here we go. I want everyone to see what it is so they can help and understand, okay? All right, let's um, see it. All right, so now I got to hit the button. Where is the? Where is it, Mr. Ro Producer Rohan? Where is my It's going to be on the uh, bottom bar, it. toggle screen share. Oh, uh, lordy lord, I see it. Okay. Toggle screen share. Okay. Um... One second. One second, producer Rohan. I'm almost there. Give me keep the music on. All right, I got it. All right. So, Luke, dance it up. I'm dancing it up. I'll, and, and and again, for for anybody who just tuned in, stocks that that, that I added recently that that are, are hot on my list right now. P Y P L. You've heard me say it so many times. PayPal is the unexpected beneficiary of the crypto boom. We also got a shout out from Ford Motors approaching $10 a share. That was my 2021 pick uh, up about 15% this year already. So let's go Ford Motor Company, um, All right. ACAM and CLOV. Those are my hot tickers right now. All right. We got it up. We got it up. Can you see it, Luke? It's very small. Really? I don't know. Maybe I have bad eyes. I can put my glasses on. Is it small, guys? Oh, yeah. Now I can see it. Actually, the glasses. Wait. Oh, we see it. Wait, is it? You guys see it? Okay. So this is a call option I bought on Tesla. My last one left. January 540s that expire in two days. If I do nothing, it'll automatically buy the common stock. I asked you guys this last quarter, and I had a bunch of calls that expired, and they automatically buy the common stock. So, for example, I have a bunch of Upwork call options that, that are exercise price of 20 bucks. And not a bunch. I had like eight left. And I'm letting them, or I have six left, I think. And I'm letting them ride, and it's going to convert into the common stock at 20. And that's what I'm doing, okay? On this Tesla call option, it looks like I'm up. You guys see the dollars, right? My question for the chat is, what would you do? Would you, you know, take the profit that you see there? Or would you let it convert into 100 shares of Tesla at 54? So that means 54,000. So that means I'm going to have to put in another 24,000, I think. Um, what would you do on this Tesla trade here? Or would you just make the profit, take the profit on it? Um, I thought Billy Big D would give some answers here, but I don't see Bill Big D here. And that, that makes me well, sad. Well, let's make it easy for people. It, 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 if you would just just sell the option now, you'd take the money and run, put the one in the chat. If, if you'd hang on to it, you'd pick up another – uh, 100 shares of Tesla put in the two. And, and Jason, I think the way to think about it is, is do you want more shares of Tesla, not at, at the 550, but do you want them at 850, um, wh wh which is what the stock is trading at right now? Um, well, here, no. So, Luke, 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 I sold, <laughs> let's say I have 600 shares of Tesla. I sold five shares of Tesla um, th this past week. Wait, are you said? Wait, what was one? One is to convert, or one was to what was one? You said one and two. What were the well, ones? Well, one is take the money and run. So most guys are saying take the money and run. That's what I would say too. Wait, what is elite trading saying? He says you lose the premium you paid if you convert. So if I go to the equity, I lose that premium that I paid, the fifteen hundred dollars that I paid when I bought them. The fifteen. Kevin says do the math. I'm here. I want you guys to do the math. I. I, options are not my expertise. Um, that's it. Brent, Brent, Brent says, he goes, just depends uh, on if you want them, the shares long-term, bro. Whenever someone says, hey, buddy, or bro, they're like talking down to you. All right, bro. Or, okay, or, bro. Or he's just my brother-in-law and he's just saying, bro, like, hey, brother. Then he's being nice. I just never can tell on the on the message. His no, other brother. definitely the other, talking down to you. 
He is talking down to me. Yeah. Because the other brother, uh, um, the other brother-in-law is mean to me. Rent's nice to me though, usually. Um, so, so they're saying exercise the contract to sell it. They're saying get out of it. All right. So most guys are saying take the money and run. Is what they're or, saying. Or you can also split the difference, right? So so you're you're no. Up. Okay. How? Okay. So 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 you're you you have you're you're either saying take all the money and run or take the hundred shares of Tesla. You, why, why don't you sell the contract, take the thirty grand of profit, use that thirty grand of profit to then buy shares of Tesla? You you could do at that eight, too. At eight, at eight something right now. Does, so, does that so, make sense? So then you're picking up what? Uh, and then you'd be getting another thirty-five shares of the stock rather than another hundred shares of the stock. That that seems bad because of taxes, doesn't it? Yeah, you you do have the tax implication there. So if you want to buy shares of Tesla, exercise the option. I don't. If, if, if you mean convert it into the stock, Don Don Henley, right? That's what you mean. Um, and then what they're saying is it's really five fifty five because I paid fifteen dollars for the premium, is what I'm really converting at five fifty five, not five forty. Yep, that's all right. So, so one person make the decision. Um, Jason, you will make twenty thousand view exercise minus premium. You already have twenty eight thousand. To just sell. He says get out. Kevin Costello says just get out. I say take the money and run. But I'm also more conservative than you are. Okay, I got to decide. I have two days to decide. All right. All right. So that's it, guys. Thank you for the help. Um, you know, thank you for the help. And we appreciate it. Oh, wait, Luke, I got something to show. I got something to show. Can I share my screen a little bit more? Yep, yep. You, you can. We do have a guest waiting, but, but, but hit it. It'll take me one second. Hold on, I need to find the window. I need to share a different screen. Where's my freaking fucking mouse? God dang it. There it is, all right. One second, guest, I apologize. I gotta share one more thing, the, the team here. Stop sharing this one. One second, it's worth it. I got some cool things for you guys. Uh, all right, well, da -da -da. while Jason's pulling that up, I'm doing my, my eight times a day Bitcoin price check. So, so we're at, we're at 34,851. Uh, the, the, the chat challenge is, is going to be ready in, in a second here. We're, we're going to be hitting the chat challenge again. The question of the week is, whoever can most closely guess the price of Bitcoin, we are going to send some Bitcoin to. We had about 100 people participate in the challenge. And so before we head off today, we're going to do a check-in, see who is closest. The, 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 the guesses are all pretty clustered. So this one's going to come down to the last day, I think. You know, one person said, one person said, Luke, convert and sell half the stock. And I could do that because do I want to put another 54,000 in, you know? Um, so wait, Luke, could we take Luke off the screen for a second, please? And take me off and just put the shirts, please. Producer Brohan, wake up, mister. Did he do it? I don't it's know. already updated. So this, oh, there, there we go. Yeah, I'm watching on YouTube, so I'm on delay. So this is um swag.benzinga.com and um those prices are lower than what they're supposed to be they're supposed to be 1995 we're actually losing six dollars a shirt this is like some new shirts you put in there eat sleep bitcoin repeat um buy the dip sell the rip uh rohan sounded aggressive yeah he's a dick sometimes so um that's that and that's that's that page but then i want to show you something else we have another store it's called teespring that's being updated and here is this one you may like some of these shirts i don't know but hold on don't hang up on me yet guys um jason is so rude what the <laughs> I, rohan am i so rude oh you're not gonna tell me the truth but all right um, he is he is yep i am such an asshole i'm the biggest asshole such a jerk um all right elite yeah i like your ideas you're good and here's another thing if you're looking for swag here is some SPAC stuff. We're gonna hopefully have some new shirts. This link is teespringstores.benzinga.com or something like that. I'll put it in the chat. And, um, and but he, I love it. XII go, but he's our asshole. Okay, so, um, and that's it. I just wanted to show you this stores because we're updating them. If you guys have any shirt ideas and you come up with the shirt idea, we put it in the store and it sells you get 10% of the profits or whatever for the shirt. So this is what we got. You can send your shirt ideas to powerhour at benzinga.com. We're just messing around with this thing. 
And if you have any ideas, let's do it together. You guys want a thong? All right, we'll get a thong. Um, I'll wear a thong if Tesla gets to if Tesla gets to fifteen hundred dollars. Oh I'll put no, on no, a thong, no 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 no! Eight seventy five. Eight seventy five. Eight seventy five. Don't, don't make know. us wait on this one. It. Come on now. You want? Wait, you want me in a thong? A little bit, yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, we got we got a, we got a swearing complaint, by the way. So um, from Joel. Wait. Uh, yeah, from Joel, the morning show. Patrick, what up? Maybe you want to come on for a minute or two at the end and tell us your political viewpoint about what's going to happen with the election stuff, because that could help us with stocks. The the P O W W. SWBI and VSTO, VSTO is down today, is all about, you know, the election and then there being more riot stuff. Okay, we have a guest. It's done. It's time for me to stop talking. It's time to bring on the, uh, the guest. And as I said, we're going to have on the CEO of GHIV and a few other CEOs, Rush Street Gaming. We got commitments from about five CEOs to bring on for next week. Um, we got some recommendations from people in the audience that they wanted more CEOs on. So we're going to do that. So now, Luke, introduce your. Uh, thank you, Jeff. No thong. So introduce your next guest. All right. Can we can we bring our guest onto the stream, producer Rohan? Absolutely. Uh, we have Frank here with us. He's been waiting patiently. Hold on. Let me get my soundboard out. Let's go. We got our guest air horn. There it is, Frank. Welcome to the Power Hour, man. We are happy to have you here. We are happy. That, 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 that you stood by and hung out with us for a little bit. This holy show's a little shit. wacky. It's, it's a little different. Hol holy shit. Frank Curzio. Oh, my God. I have known Frank Curzio for Jason, so many years. Jason, can you toggle years. your screen share off? I toggled my screen share off. What is going on with this guy? Okay, hold on. I didn't toggle it off. All right. Long time. No, I did. Fra Long time, Jason. Frank Curzio, right? I've known you since... Oh my, I mean the street.com street days. Com. You were writing some... Yep, street.com days. Yep. Jim Kramer days. Yeah, pretty crazy. To see what you guys have come is amazing. And by the way, I think it should be nine hundred dollars for that thong, and yes, I want to see you in that thong. I, I will tweet that as much as I can. So yeah. Tesla at nine hundred, not fifteen hundred, nine hundred. Come on. <laughs> All right, thank thank you. Frank, I remember you being the hardest worker in show business. I don't know if things have changed. I still remember when I was writing for real money and I was like twenty three years old. And I wrote a thing about, or an article on Real Money about how you should buy Amazon, not you, but I wrote an article about you should buy Amazon because they diversified into AWS. And Jim Cramer and Doug Cast castrated me. They said, this is the, this literally, I, ha I, have, a, I have a screenshot of it. I have it because I got so castrated. I'm like, all right, I need to keep this. They literally said to me, um, they said, this is an automatic doomsday for Amazon. They're not focusing on retail and their customer. They're unfocused by starting AWS. AWS was like, it was when they launched, it was like at $76 Amazon. And so I'm 23, 24, and I already lost money in the dot com crash in 2000. I'm like, okay, these guys are a lot more experienced than me. They must know more. So I sold my Amazon then. And I'm, again, I'm not really blaming it on them, but I, I, I just like, if you read the, the, the calmness conversation, they like mm -hmm. said, Jason, you're immature, too young, uh, whatever, inexperienced trader or investor. Amazon starting AWS is the worst thing for the company in the history, and I have it all screenshotted. And I'm bringing it up to you because I remember you—you you were great. a big dude there. Right? Yeah, that, that was—that's great. And you know, as as you know, we've been through the years. The the more people disagree, and by the way, AWS is, is worth more than retail division, right? That's why the, the company, the stock is already is. That's the growth component, but. Uh, the more that people, you know, just basically shitting your thesis, uh, you know, the more right you are. I mean, I recommended large cap for, for my investors. It's a conservative newsletter, Goldman Sachs, four months ago. I can't tell you how many negative emails came in. Today, the whole world's upgrading it. They love it. It's great, we're over 40%. But usually, that's a good indication. And on the other end, when you recommend something and everybody loves, I'm usually careful about it. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Frank, I feel the exact same way. Like, like whenever I'm I'm adding a stock and everybody in the chat's like, oh yeah, I'm in that one too. I'm like. Shit, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm a little late on this name. Well, yeah, th if that's no, the case, Luke, I'm about. If that's the case, Luke, I'm about to get killed on a lot of the stocks because I bought a lot of the stocks from the chat recently. So, um, yeah, whatever. Um, all right, so Frank, what are you up to these days? Listen, I have my own company for over four years, growing really fast. Uh, we have lots of products. We have over 20 employees. And, uh, yeah, I just reached out to, to one of you guys. I knew you had a, a small cap conference and webinar thing. I said, yeah, I know Jason for a long time. If you guys want to come, you know, if he wants to come on my podcast, Wall Street Unplugged, and promote it, you know, no, nothing in return or whatever. I said, I know him. I said, I just believe in relationships, and I know you guys are doing a great thing over there for your investors. 
And somebody got back to me right away and said, hey, this is great, and you know, we'll do something together. Why don't you come to the show? And that's you know, where we are. But just really love what you guys are doing, how big it's gotten. It is pretty cool, man. I mean, we've known each other for a long Get time. Get your home see, and uh, everything in it covered in just 90... You guys hear that? Yeah, so yeah I think it was a commercial break. No, I keep going. <laughs> I don't know what the hell It's a commercial was. for Sorry. Lemonade, so maybe that's going to move yeah. Lemonade <laughs> stock. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to come on the podcast. But so, Frank, you're you've been in the markets for a while. Like, how do you find your ideas? What do you do for your research? Technicals, fundamentals, what kind of stuff? It, do you it's do? everything. There's no one solution. There's no one thing that always works. So I'm always open to new ideas. And, and you know, it's great because just interviewing people like you have, you, you get to really learn. And I like interviewing people who have different opinions than me, which is you know not the thing to do now. You can't disagree. Everyone has one agenda. It seems like, but. When it comes to investing, you should always look at the other side. Uh, you know, if you're recommending a stock, you want to look at, at who doesn't like it, right? But for me, a lot of it's boots on the ground. I mean, this is the first year in eight years I'm not going to be at the CES. I love going there. I have a media pass. I sample everything. I live stream everything. I find amazing ideas. JP Morgan Healthcare Conference. Uh, you know, I travel a lot to, to different mining companies. So for me, it's boots on the ground seeing this stuff for real because, you know, you mentioned earlier you're going to have CEOs on. I've been to CEOs, but CEOs, just like your CEO, I'm CEO, you're always going to be biased, right, and say how great your company. You're not going to get the best information until you actually go there and maybe talk to some of the employees. You know, that's where you really find some of the, the amazing ideas before everybody else, which we're all trying to do, right? We want to get in before everybody else and before they're talking about it in the media and stuff like that. And that's interesting because, uh, you know, just the stocks and listening, because I was listening for about, you know, a good 30, 20 minutes when uh, just the stock ideas that were coming up are pretty cool. I'm looking at them too and, and, you know, the ammo stock and, you know, just things like that. So for me, I'm always open. It's about the network. I like to travel, I cover all sectors, and uh, you know, the network has grown so big since I've been doing this for 25 years that you, know, you do get some amazing ideas and you get into trends well ahead of the crowd, which is cool. Well, well so, so let me ask you this, right? Obvi obviously, 2020 was a different year than 2019 and, and every year before mm -hmm. that, right? Where, where the, the boots on the ground changes, you know, it's gotta be virtual boots on the ground. So, so, so how are you managing that? And, and what I think could be interesting there too is that for like an individual investor audience, maybe they, they can be looking at some of these things that you're looking at now. Yeah, so I, I did take one trip in the middle of COVID because how much I like the project. I'll give you guys a stock. It's called US Gold. It's one of my largest positions, a very big position. Uh, this is, a, it's on the NASDAQ. And sorry, what, what's the ticker on that one? It, it's USAU. So this is, a, it, I'm not a gold bug or anything, you know, so I just, but this stock that I actually went to visit, uh, yeah, the cap structure is great. It's 13, but it does have a $75 million mark cap. They just came out with unbelievable drilling results. I'm valuing that asset called Copper King, which I visited personally about three months ago and, and you know, put a lot of money into this thing at over $700 million after this. So it has $75 million market cap. But even going on my trip, they were able to uh, get the, one of the biggest and best geologists out there, uh, someone who discovered uh, Gold Strike, which is one of the biggest mines in the world in Nevada. And this is a guy who doesn't have to work anymore. He's actually running the show at this company. That's how much he likes it. And I went there with a very high profile, I won't name him, but he's a former Secretary of Interior uh, who was meeting with the mayor to talk about permits and things like that. I don't want to mention you know, too many names, but these are the people who I travel there with. And uh, if you're not familiar with the Secretary of Interior, that's the most important person in mining because that's all geology, permitting, you know, schmoozing with me. And the fact that they got everything in line and doing the right thing, this is the thing I think can go up 3x to 5x probably in the next 18 months. Uh, and that's why it's one of my largest positions. Okay, and, and let, let, let me dig in on this one a little bit. So, so it's a, a gold mining stock, obviously. And when you're talking about valuing the asset, is, is it like the, the gold reserves that they have that you're valuing, or, or what exactly Basically, is yeah. So this was an asset that was on their books for a while. It's called Copper King. And the last results came out in 2017, and it was being valued at, I think it's $175 million with gold at 1250 which is kind of amazing. Uh, yep. And now we've seen gold prices go up tremendously, right? Over 1,800. And, and you know, I'm, I'm bullish on gold. I'm bullish on Bitcoin. It's just the spending's not going to stop. So I think you can make money in both of those areas. Everybody's like either or, but they're buying them kind of for the same reasons. Uh, so I think gold's going to go a lot higher. And, and this is a company that just has an undervalued asset. And from studying this and speaking at numerous conferences in Vancouver, I mean, this is a very shady industry. It's really well, probably the most shady industry that I cover out of every one of them. Uh, but, you know, doing the homework and looking at the stock, uh, you know, this is something that, that I really like enough to make it one of my biggest positions. So I, I think that that asset's being tremendously undervalued and you're not seeing that you're not able to buy a lot of gold stocks that, that are trading at cheap levels right now because they've run up so much. And even if you look at the chart, U.S. gold, you know, it's come down along with gold a little bit. But uh, I think this thing has a lot of upside.
Okay, and 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 so what? What's the catalyst on this one? Is it is it that they need to start pulling minerals out of the earth and selling them, so we see the sales number? Is it is it Wall Street realizing, hey, here here's what they're sitting on? I mean, what what what's the catalyst to really get this thing cooking? That's the catalyst because right now no one knew this existed. They just reported amazing results, and now you're going to see the investment bankers come in because you know and, and want to cover them again. They make the investment fees on this to raise money because when you look at small mining companies, they don't generate any revenue, right? These companies yep. raise money and they continue to improve that asset these guys the asset that they have right now is going to get i think a lot of major players in there i'm hoping that someone doesn't come in and buy this thing i want to see because it usually it takes at least 12 15 years to develop the time you put a stick in the ground to actually develop wow. one out of every three thousand mines gets developed believe it that's it these guys could develop this in five years because it's in a very friendly district it's in a great state and now that you have those connections with uh those political connections those permits are going to flow a lot faster and uh, the street's catching on it's starting to get out there now all right, so so there's the first one, USAU. First one. There's the cash register. Boom! I like it. A gold pick. I I don't. We we've been doing this show for a couple months now. I, I don't think we've had a single gold pick yet. So so I mm -hmm. like it. You know, I mean, I can give so Bitcoin. Everybody wants to play Bitcoin, and it's not. You know, again, I've been doing this for a while, four years. Uh, I'm a big fan of Bitcoin. I think it's going to go a lot higher. It could pull back a little bit. But there's certain stocks, right? Because it's not that easy. You can go to Coinbase and buy. It's easy. But when you go to the other cryptos, it gets a little crazy sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, these things aren't equities, by the way, when you're buying these things. It's not like you get, like if Microsoft comes in and buys one of these things for like, you know, $100 billion, you don't you don't get that like you do with a stock. It's, it's a utility. Most of these are utility tokens, right? Yep. But there's ways to play it from the stock perspective uh, and pure plays now. I mean, uh, you have... Uh, Silvergate Capital, symbol SI, we're in the single digits at 67. The, I love this management team. It's a Wall Street management team, and I always thought, listen, Wall Street and crypto have to merge. Even though they don't like each other, they have to merge. You need both. You need security. You need a little bit of regulation, right? You need to know your money's safe. And this is a guy that's from Wall Street that just built up this whole bank and said, hey, we're focusing 100% on crypto, and good for him, and this thing is taking off, and I think it's just the beginning. Uh, Mara is down 15% only Wait, because this, it's up Really, really quick on the Silvergate, what, what exactly is it that they do? Like, is, is it a crypto miner? They do banking services? It, no, it's not a crypto miner. It's not a crypto miner. What they do is they pro provide services and banking services and things like that, but it's, it's crypto. So it's, it's not the easiest thing to transfer crypto into cash. It's easy for Bitcoin, but these guys, like, go all in for institutional clients, which I credit them because that was a small industry, you know, two, three years ago, right? There's not too many institutions. Now you see PayPal, now you see Square, now you see all these hedge fund managers that hate it. They suddenly love it. It's not fake anymore. These guys went in before that, and they provide a lot of the services, so they're well ahead of it while all the banks are kind of playing catch up. Okay. All right. I like that. And you mentioned PayPal, so I have to ask, do you have any <laughs> opinion on that stock? That is my crypto sleeper trade, uh, but, but any, any opinion one way or another on that one? It's amazing. If I had to guess, I would say PayPal, when it comes to Bitcoin, is probably two percent of their revenue. <laughs> but yeah, it just you know, it's like MicroStrategy. If you're in crypto right now and you think it's going higher, that's kind of a crypto. Like Square's a crypto play, right? Yeah, so absolutely. it's not like you're looking at valuations. If you think crypto's going higher, those two are going to do good. But just remember, those aren't pure plays, right? So uh, you know, yeah. another pure play is Marathon Patent Mara M A R A. Uh, you'll see it down. 15% because they did the stocks up tremendously and they just did a huge offering. They're one of, you mentioned before, one of the largest Bitcoin miners in the world with over 30,000 plus uh, ant miners. These guys are going to be generating $13 million a month from this, from, from mining Bitcoin. And this is at about 22, 23,000 Bitcoin price. You guys know where it is now. And hopefully I get one of those guesses and you can put me down this way in your competition. But where are we? Like, like you know, 34,000, whatever it is. But these guys are just going to be printing money. They're one of the leaders. And uh, I like the fact that they raise money when the stock's up. They did it at 20 bucks. It's at like 21, 22 today. They wait a little bit. And then I think this thing could really, really take off. I mean, it's, can, it's really undervalued. Yeah. Well, well a what, place. What, what, what I think is really interesting about this one is that they, they, they did an offering at, at $20 a share. I think literally just mm -hmm. yesterday or, or maybe this morning. And the stock's at 22 bucks. You know what I mean? That, that, think about that for that a shows there's some energy in there. Yeah. It, exactly. Usually when you do these, it should be like 18, 17, and then, you know, they got the money. And then you'll see, you know, more investors come in. But for them to do this at 20 and it's above that price, it shows the demand. Because, look, if Bitcoin crashes, this thing's going to come down. But if Bitcoin just stays where it is, not even if it crashes, if it's above like 25,000, these guys print money. If you really believe in some of those forecasts where even Citigroup is what, like at 300,000 and, and Winkle Voss turns 500, if you really believe that, this thing is, you know, $100 stock pretty easily. I mean, this thing's more... I 
I would bet if, if Bitcoin's at three hundred thousand, this thing's way over a hundred. Oh uh, yeah, fair? I'm talking about if it hits a hundred thousand, it's going to be you know eighties, nineties, I think. But even if this thing goes as high as they say it's going to go, which you know we'll see. I mean, it's definitely getting adopted a lot more by institutions, and that was a missing factor. I know we have. Yeah, the younger generation and they're in Bitcoin, but the institutions were talking billions, billions of dollars that could easily flow into this. And we're looking at that's, you know, one percent, a quarter of a percent maybe of what Fidelity manages. And now these big funds are being, you know, they have mandates where, hey, you know what, you know, put one percent into some of these crypto things or into blockchain. And that one percent is not a lot of small companies, but, you know, that turns out to be hundreds of millions of dollars of some of these big uh, asset managers. Yep, uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And 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 I mean, when, when you're looking at these crypto stocks, right? Because there's a good handful of them. You gave us a couple tickers. What what are some of the characteristics you look for? Uh, management team, teams that have been all in early on, because I've been in early on, and it's really cool to see that thesis work out, especially guys coming from Wall Street, where you have Jamie Dimon saying, you know, it's fake, it's terrible. Like Warren Buffett is basically calling you an idiot to buy it. And to see what these guys stick into their guns, I like that. They're all in. I mean, this isn't about the money to them. This is about creating one of the biggest companies in the world, and that's what I like to see. I, you know, it's, there's certain people there, hey, I'm going to build a mine and sell it to another company. There's other guys, I'm going to develop the hell out of this, and I'm going to have one of the biggest mines in the world. But, you know, when it comes to companies like this, what I want to look at is management team and exactly what they're doing. How did they adjust, right, where 2008, 17 was great for crypto, and then it crashed. That's the first crash in this industry. There's a reason why, if you're looking at technology companies, they have the greatest balance sheets, because a lot of those guys lived through the dot-com era, and they almost went under. So now they have amazing, strong balance sheets. You learn as you go, and the companies that really structured themselves and got themselves stronger, you want to be buying when things are down. That's when things are cheap instead of selling and being over-leveraged. Those companies that are coming out on that end, those are the ones I really look at that I like. Okay, awesome. So, so again, to recap, the, the crypto stocks, it's the management teams, it's the guys that have been mm -hmm. in this thing for a while. I mean, for, uh, as somebody who doesn't really know the crypto world, it, it, I mean, that makes sense to me. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't get it, so, so I'll trust the people who do. Um, so, yeah, but so, you know so what it is? It, it, it's, it's all about education, right? I mean, I didn't learn, know about every single sector. I didn't know about anything. But don't be afraid to, like even what I'm saying, you should be questioning everything. You should always do your own research. I mean, with the sources you have today, there's no reason why you can't learn. You could learn to be a mechanic, and I say mechanic because I don't know that much about cars. You could learn to be a mechanic in six months, work for place for free, go and learn how to do this stuff. So just because it's something that you don't like doesn't mean you shouldn't learn about it because, you know, once you learn it, it could be something that's really, really great, and most of the population is still not in, in cryptocurrencies right now. Yeah, ab still early. absolutely. Awesome, mm -hmm. Frank. And, 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 and we, we see your Twitter handle on the screen. How else can people stay in touch? You know, how, how do they hear from you, get ideas, et cetera? You can go right to our website, occursierresearch.com. We have, you know, our products and stuff like that. And I really appreciate that, by the way. Um, but, yeah, you know, we tell it how it is. Sometimes we piss people off. But, you know, it, it's real. I've been from Wall Street. We try to bring Wall Street to Main Street just like what you guys are doing. And that's kind of why I reached out to you because I really like that. I like that, you know. You know, call me old school, but, you know, I, I really like helping people. I like helping customers. I like seeing people make money and, and learning from the mistakes I made 25 years. Uh, you know, a lot of people are just out for themselves, and, you know, those are the people we kind of avoid and don't partner with. But uh, I really like what you guys are doing, too, so awesome stuff. Yeah, and, and, and just because I know our chat, when, when you, you said you piss people off sometimes, I think our chat will oh, like yeah. that. They're, they, they, <laughs> yeah, we do. back and we, forth yeah. all day today. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, and it's great, right? I mean, they express their feelings. If everybody likes you, that means you're probably fake, right? <laughs> I mean, it's like you got to have people that don't like you because people don't like shy people, outspoken people. If, if everybody likes you, it means you're, you're probably being fake. And for us, we're not fake. We tell it how it is. And if, you know, a lot, we're right more times we're wrong. The day I'm not, I won't do this anymore. But, uh, you know, honest research, hard research. You see me on videos doing this, just like you saw Jason on doing it, you know, himself. He, you know, it's, you know, that's what they want to see, and that's what we have. And uh, things have been going very good for us. Cool. Huh. Awesome, Frank. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to come on with us. You, you gave uh -huh. us a handful of tickers. Uh, mm -hmm. Honor to have you here. Uh, and, and I didn't even know that you and Jason had a connection from, from years and years ago. So, so, so yeah, that, he's that makes great. it even more fun. I'm a big fan of Jason. I'm a big fan just to see what he's done. Seriously, I don't say it off like, wow, you know, you kiss someone's ass. And it's like, wow, look at but what he's taken, you know, Benzinga, what he's done is kind of incredible. And just you can see just by everybody that I look at at your company, they're engaged. They believe it. They believe it. it, it just, it's really cool. It's really cool to say. I, I love to see people successful. So I, I love it. Awesome, man. All right. Well, well, thank you very much for, for hopping on with us. Mm -hmm. And again, thank I'm, I'm going to recap those tickers. It was S-I, it was M-A-R-A, -A, and U-S-A-U. -U. Those are the yes. picks. And one final air horn for Frank. There it is. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, absolutely.
<laughs> All right, guys, it, it's it's that time of the day where we are going to head and give the update on our chat challenge. Uh, I, I was just looking at, at the prices. The, these picks are hot. They are close. There, there, there is no clear winner. This is going to go down to the final day. Um, but, but all right, I'm doing a Bitcoin price check. BTC price, here we go. Let's update it. 34795. 34795. Here is the big list of guesses. I, I Can we get my screen up on the stream? There we go. All right, I took this madness that was the list that you guys all filled out yesterday, and I made it something nice and pretty and locked the spreadsheet. So, so here is the big list of guesses. Uh, if you do not see yourself on this list, then you better be here next Monday uh, when we're starting again. But I am going to scroll down until we get to our current price. I think we said it was 34795. All right. We got a lot of Bitcoin bulls. And there it is, our closest guest right now, Connor West, out of the chat, out of Zinger Nation. Let's go, round of applause for Connor. There we go. He's winning today, what one day into the challenge, but this is a three-day challenge, so so you know we'll, we'll we'll see how he holds up. Again, th these guesses are so tightly grouped. Um, it's gonna come down to Friday, and it's gonna come down to whatever is the last price that we pull on Friday. Uh, but Connor West leading the way right now. Again, the winner of this is getting some Bitcoin sent in. Uh, again, guys, we're we're updating this every single day on the show. You got to be here so that way you 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 know that you won. Um, where's the link? Somebody's asking. Unfortunately, I had to lock the spreadsheet because yesterday. Somebody kept going in and deleting everybody else's guesses, which is a good strategy. That is very scrappy. It's aggressive. If you are the only guest, you win by definition. Uh, so I had to do some work late last night in the middle of the night to uh, re restore a previous version of the spreadsheet and then clean it up. But again, wh whoever was going in and deleting everybody else's guesses, I like that. That, that you know, w would guarantee you a win if I wasn't also a, a crafty bugger. All right, Jason, I see you back right. on the screen with us. All right, all right. Can you hear me? I hear you. All right, all right. So two things. We got a couple things. We, um, we're asking the community, and I know we have, we have to do our quiz, our, are you smarter than a fifth grader quiz, but I want to do a little screen share. Hold on. Now, can I screen share a, a screen? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let me see. Just give me a, music again while I do the screen share. You know how I am with the music. Wait, wait, wait. Come wait, on. wait. Let me. The sax banks. If you guys like the sax sound, put a one in the chat. Put a two in the chat if you don't like it. And there is our copyright cutoff right there. <laughs> so so okay. there's our five seconds of, of, of sax. All right. All right. You guys are going to like this. You ready? All right. Let's see it. Come on, baby. Deliver, Jason. Screen share. All right. Maybe make it bigger. Maybe take me and Luke off. All right. Those are the boxes that were just delivered at my house. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. So you can just do multiplication because it's four across, five up, right? So let me get my 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 you know calculator. Four across, five up. That's four times five. Five times four is twenty. Plus three more boxes. That's twenty-three boxes. Twenty plus three, twenty-three. Yes. In those boxes is new Benzinga swag. Yes, there's t-shirts, but we also have ridiculously nice hoodies, like very like soft, a hood goes over it. So we have hoodies, we have t-shirts, we have hats, we have, I think mugs, I think, I'm not sure on that one. Okay, I want to nice. give some of this stuff out. I want to give out some of this stuff. Now to get off the thing, put me and Luke back on. Luke and I. Uh, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Mike Rao laughed at that joke. That screen share right off. Hey, it, hey, if you want to license any data or – oh, I got to talk. Okay. If you guys want to license any data or any of that kind of stuff or new platform, uh, email licensing at benzinga.com, and you'll hear from a guy, maybe Mike Rao or someone else. But I want to give some of this stuff out. Are any of you guys – I mean, I don't have my chat open. Where is my chat? Right, I don't know if any of you guys are Fidelity users, but if you are – what we would like you to do is send an email or hit the support line and say, we'd love to see Benzinga news on, on the platform. It helps us make decisions or we, you know, the Benzinga whims, W I I M S 
That's our why is it moving? It's a one sentence thing. And I don't know who the, the president of Fidelity is. Maybe it's, I think, Kathleen Murphy or Abigail Johnson. It's like put attention to them. And, um, you know, tell them that you, that you want to see Benzinga News. You guys uh, like it. And then if you send a, a screenshot to Power Hour at Benzinga.com, we'll put you in the running to get some swag. Um, the jackets are a lot more expensive than the t-shirts. So if you already have a t-shirt, let us know. If you, you know, want these jackets, give us your size and some of you guys will win some jackets. We ordered a couple hundred of them, I think, and they will sell out. But look at how many boxes are at my house. I think they should have been shipped here, not there, but that is insane what we have in there. I mean, that might, those boxes now have to go in my house. So I don't know what the, um, Tasty Trade users do the same thing. E-Trade, yes. E-Trade, I don't know who they put attention to, though, Luke. We have Fidelity, we have Tasty, Trade, and E-Trade. I can get you an E-Trade name. Give me a second. Um, yeah, give me a see. So, so Fidelity, if you guys, you know, Kathleen Murphy, you send that to us. Are any of you guys Fidelity users? Press 1. If you're a Fidelity user, if you have a Fidelity account, press 1 if you do. No, you can buy common shares on Tasty Trade. Yep. So we got one Michael Medina, Luis. Okay, so you, you're gonna do it. Why would it, Max? Come on, Lambo? No, Tesla. All right, we only got uh, we only got one Fidelity or three Fidelity users. Come on, there has to be some more people that have Fidelity accounts. Come on, guys. We need you. We need you. We really need you. Help us. Help the cause. If you don't have a Fidelity account, maybe open the Fidelity account and do it. So, um, yeah, you could do E-Trade. I don't know who the CEO of E-Trade is. Um, but yeah, I do actually. So there's some cool new swag. Um, yeah, Christian, log into your account and do it. It's just, it just, numbers matter. And we appreciate it if you're a user. That's how, like, the Bloombergs of the world have a huge budget, 20,000 employees. We don't, we need, we need we you guys to help us out. Yeah, we have 23 Mer t-shirts. They've got 20,000 employees. We've got 23 boxes of t-shirts. Come on, Fidelity users. Let's go. There, yeah, you're right. They have 23,000 employees, Luke. We have 23 boxes of t-shirts. There you go. We need your help. Merrill Lynch, yes. Merrill Edge, yes. Send screenshots to PowerHour at Benzinga.com, and you can email them this week. Then do it next week and follow up. And just, you know, if you need anything to say, let me know. Who is messaging me? So those are the t-shirts, and we'll get to work on this stuff. I'm telling you, the, the hoodies are awesome. They're awesome. They're expensive. So they're soft. They're expensive. We need your help. Remember, Zinger Nation is not about me and Luke talking to you guys. We bring on traders to give ideas. We'll bring on many more. It's all of us. For us to grow and to thrive and to keep doing this, we need your help. We don't come to your help all the time, but we need your help. That's it. So how do we get a hoodie? You, you, you send a, a message to these places, and then you send a screenshot of the message. And we will um, send these out. If not everyone, like we're gonna run out. It'll be, you know, we'll, we'll run out eventually. But we'll also put them in the store too. And we'll put we'll put we'll put them in the store for a cheap price. Um, that may be even easier because if we're in the store, we can give you a, a comp thing, whatever. We'll figure it out. Um, Max B, your your son is becoming our next employee. Didn't get a reply to his open application though. Where do you apply? Yeah, Max what B? the hell? What could, what could he do here? What could he do here? We, we're looking for some smart, driven people. We need to hire for several senior roles, but um, if, there, if, 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 if your son has the ability to like take over something here, we'd love it. We, right. we'd and, love and Jason, it because... you, you, you just tease me whenever I get this, 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 this type of blood flowing through my veins. I can't help myself. This is what I say to, to all people who, who I'm interviewing or, or are interested in joining Benzinga. The, the thing that I think is so unique about our business, di different than, than you know I, any other business that I've talked to or, or that I know people that work at, is, is that we give people the opportunity, right? We, we are the place where if, if you want to make an impact, you're, you're passionate, you want to be driven, you, 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 you want to go after something, we're, we're, we're not going to gonna hold you down. Right, if if you're hired in for some junior role, but you have some idea to launch a new business, you're passionate about it, you'll drive it, you'll you'll fight and fight and fight and fight until it's successful. We we, we unleash you. We, we we give you every single opportunity to absolutely go ahead and do that. I mean that that's why I love Benzinga. You know, I obviously I'm a stock market nerd and, and, and that goes into it. But but the the reason why I've been at Benzinga for eight years now 
is because I've always had the opportunity to build, right? No, nobody ever says, no, don't do that, or, or that's stupid, or that's not your job. I, I, I always get, if you're passionate about it, you want to build it, you want to do it, go ahead and try it. Let, let, let's circle back in a month and, and see how it's going and let me know what resources you need to be successful. I mean, that, that's where the show came from, right? J Jason and I just talked about it on, on a Saturday. We said we want to get into video, and we just said, all right, let's just do it. You know what I mean? Let, let, let's not be restrained. Let's be unbounded. Um, and and the, the most successful people that we've had at Benzinga, take that opportunity that they're given, the, the, the platform that is Benzinga, and make it their own and build off of it. So uh, yeah. every uh, yeah. and, and when I get and, that pitch and, going, I can't hold it back. And I'll be honest, uh, you like, like and subscribe. Yes, Michael, email support or whatever it is. But I'll be honest on this thing. Um, when Luke and I said, let's just do a show, I wrote a message to one of our team members. And they're like, oh, it'll take a few or four days or a week to get started. And I said, bullshit. I just clear, I, I Googled how to do a video show. And I just hit a button and we were up and running. That was it. I, like, I'm tired of people pondering things too much and not executing and doing things. So if you're a doer and get stuff done and run through the finish line, an experiment you could make you could you would be amazing here and you can make a lot of money too money fouls doesn't lead you can ask luke luke started as an unpaid intern when that was illegal back in the day interns and luke makes great money here and but it's because it's not like me doing him a favor it's money fouls doesn't lead luke does a phenomenal job so then like that's it and that's the bottom line so the, the other thing i was going to say though um on on this thing here with the the brokerages we're all a team here. Even if you're not working here or inside our office and you're not, you're not on the W2 payroll, we are you, you are us. Like we're going to figure out how to grow this together and we're not going to forget the guys that have been here since the beginning. And that's just the bottom line. So um, help us. We'll help you. We try to bring on these amazing guests to give you these trades and trading ideas like we had on yesterday and today. And I don't know who Jesse is, but, um, and we have, we have a Google, not a Google doc, another doc, where Jesse we have Elite, all our baby. past guests on. Oh, Jesse Elite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that, that, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's the, the, the Benzinga Power Hour nickname. Know, I, I, I know. I just know him as Elite. Okay. So so we, we have a, you'll go you vote on weekly guests. We have about 400 guests to choose from. You'll be able to vote on those coming soon. But the last thing I wanted to say is we need to do, we need to do the, um, the quiz, the Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. And like and subscribe. Share our channel with your friends. Give us feedback on how we can make it better. Um, and then Rohan needs help with some things. So reach out to him, but power hour at Benzinga.com. All right, look, Rohan, do you have the questions real quick? Yeah, let me, let me pull them up. All right, let's go. All right. All right. Well, all right. It appears we didn't pass the level yesterday. We didn't get enough questions, right? So we're back in second grade again. You got held back a year, Jason. Maybe Luke can help you this time. Um, so let's get it started. This one's really easy one to get started. How many angles does a triangle have? You asked that. Come on, three. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, what is one? Wait, is that the right answer? Three is the correct answer. Okay, wait, so I'm way overthinking this. Like, like three is what jumped to my mind, and I'm like, wait a minute. That's too obvious. No, they are that. Okay. You probably got confused because, you know, sides and angles. But, yes, there are three angles in a okay, triangle. Okay, so I'm not – okay, don't overthink this. As the, the word, key. you know, try an angle. All right, next question. What is 150% of 50? Should I say the answer or what's the deal? Do we wait for the chat? Does Jason let, say let, it? I'm let, new to this. Let, the, let, let chat say it. All right, Andre, 75. We'll go with that. Go ahead. All right. The answer is 75, and I guess I should start giving you guys the options, too. All right. What continent – oh, we've been asked this question before, so I'm going to go ahead and skip it. Go ahead. It. Go ahead. All right. Uh, we've asked this question, too. It's a continent. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. What Maybe was the main source of energy? Program. We've been asked this one. So, yeah, I think this is because we're repeating the level. What prime number? Ah. I'm kind of skipping through these, so just be patient with me here. Ah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. How many days are there in a leap year? What do we think? 366. That's got to be right. Jason says 366. The other options are 364, 365, and 367. Let's go with 366. And that is correct. All right. Back to math class here. The Pythagoras theorem relates to what shape? A square, a hexagon, a triangle, or a circle? 
I think we got a hint here up Let's on the screen. Let's see what the chat says. Let's see what the chat says. Triangle, the chat says. The answer is triangle. Before you get to the next two questions, uh, Ronnie Moss from Standpoint Research has just downgraded GameStop from buy to hold. You can see that in Benzinga Pro. Uh, Ronnie Moss has downloaded GameStop from buy to hold. Um, $34 price target. GameStop's right. up 66% today. Holy shit. Why? What happened? Uh, new board members. Okay, ga ga we're, we're doing a whole segment on GameStop tomorrow. GameStop has been the wildest ride of any stock th this th in, in 2020. Right, we, we had your Modernas in 2020, you had your Teslas, you had your Bitcoins. GameStop is the wildest thing to come out of 2020. So, so we're going to do a whole segment on that. If you guys want to talk GameStop tomorrow, give us a one. If you don't want to talk GameStop, give us a two. Maybe we'll find something sexier. But I think that GameStop is literally the wildest story to come out of last year. Totally. And, and if you guys know a badass developer that would want to build here, we'll pay you a $2,000 referral fee. $2,000 cash referral fee. Okay, keep going. Are we ready for the next question? Ready. Yeah, we're going right. to keep going. This is, a, this is an easy question normally, but I find it a bit confusing, mainly because it's asking Celsius, not Fahrenheit. What is the average body temperature of a human being? Oh, that's tough. So it's in Celsius. The options are 25 degrees Celsius, 37 degrees Celsius, 43 degrees Celsius, and 17 degrees Celsius. All right. All right. We'll give it. We'll give it a quick little uh, countdown. All right. Five, it's in Celsius. Four, if you're at 98 degrees Celsius, you are dead. Three, Your blood is literally boiling. Two, one. Someone said 27. 27 is not an option. 37. Okay. You All right. What about me, producer Rohan? I got my hand cues up there. You got your 37. 37 is correct. Oh nope. I got that one wrong. I was guessing 25. Oh. Okay. I assumed like the seven because you had five and two up and, but yeah, I should. Okay. All right, next question. How many angles does a square have? Luke, are you going to get confused by this one? No, now I know not to think too deeply about it. <laughs> it is the second grade, so yes, not too deep. All right. You want to give us the answer? And if you remember the name of your second grade teacher, th throw her in the chat. Shout out second I grade I'm going to shout out to, to Miss Kelly. She became Mrs. Kelly during the year, so I got to put both names in there. Shout out Mrs. Weaver. Wait, Miss Kelly became Mrs. Kelly? I don't get it. Yes. So her, she was Miss Kelly, unmarried with the last name of Kelly when the year started. Halfway through the year, she married a man whose last name was Kelly and became Mrs. Kelly. How about this? And how about this? I know a person whose name, her name is Hope, and she she dated for a long time, but they didn't get engaged. His name is Zach Liss, and if they got married, she would have been hopeless. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's almost too good. Okay, well, the answer to that one is four, as you might have thought. And now we have an ad showing up. So I think that's enough for today's segment. All right, that's it for today. And we got a new show coming up soon. Remember our ass, hit like and subscribe. Tell your friends about our channel. We hit that 40,000 mark. We gotta get, I need to get to 50,000. And tell your friends. We're, we're working our asses off for you guys. And uh, we love you. We appreciate you. And Luke stayed past 1 o'clock today, so you guys should slap him a like because Luke stayed past Woo! 1 o'clock today. Shout Nobody's working on the around. business today. Uh, <laughs> we're just hanging out and having fun. Just hanging out and having fun. And Rohan, hopefully he'll just get crazy and do crazy stuff. I want you guys, I got so much stuff in my head, but you got to get Rohan to get crazy. He's not crazy yet. I don't know, Rohan. Maybe I need to, like, um, I don't know. I need well, to, like. Rohan, stop. here's a fun Rohan story. So, so a Saturday at, at around 8 p.m., 8 p.m. Saturday, oh God. you know, there, there's a group of us working here on, on some product building. Rohan just rolls into the office at 8 p.m. on Saturday. <laughs> We're like, what the, like, you're starting your work day at 8 p.m., okay? He's like, no, I, I was at a party in the area, but I need to hop on a Zoom call real quick. So, so came into the office to, uh, to have some quiet, and I'm going to go back to the party. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Isn't that a great Rohan story? <laughs> That was funny though. I remember yeah. Luke was very confused when I. I was so in. confused. I'm just sitting there. There's like, it's very quiet. Because again, it's eight o'clock on a Saturday. The building's empty, but all of a sudden Rohan just walks right in, like like nothing's up. Says, you know, does like no little morning wave. You know, gets a cup of coffee and goes sits at his desk. We're like, oh, okay. Someone someone just commented. Yeah. I just realized we got Luke, Rohan solo, and 
Raz Vader question mark? And I just thought that was too funny not to bring up. Okay. And do you know we brought a guest on today um, for the SPAC hour that Kramer, I guess, is having on tonight? We got him first today. That's why I'm saying you guys have the opportunity Wait, what's the Kramer stock? Stream? I'm going to buy it. Give me the stock. I'm going to buy it for the Kramer no, bump. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But then um, Zoom with a nice young lady. What's that? What's, what's Jeff? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Luke out at Rohan for using company property for personal business. All right. Well, you guys ripped on me yesterday for the OnlyFans person at the pool. So you, you can you can take it, Rohan. The other thing that they were going to say in the chat. Oh, my God. I got to think about Oh, I just got another thank you note. We got, amongst other things, we got all of our team members or most of our team members Shinola watches this year. And I just got a message from one of our writers who writes for us um, for a while as a contractor just thanking me he couldn't believe he got this watch and we put a little engraving on the bottom of each watch a nice shinola watch so there's other little there's other little elements at benzinga that you get when you're when you're here so i can confirm one of those i things. also have a watch and thank you guys that was awesome for those of you in the did chat you ever, who think jason's too ever, hard on me there's the proof he's he's not always too hard on me did you ever say thank you for the watch probably not I did in like a public format, uh, like I tagged Benzinga in it. Where? What was the public format? On Instagram. Oh, I didn't see that. I yeah, show us the watch, it's Rohan. Okay. Uh, it's not in office right now, but maybe tomorrow I'll bring it. So, so someone did get a Rolex. They, 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 they asked if, uh, if they got a Rolex. And yeah, uh, some Rolexes were given. If you want to, there's a guy here. Um, that's sitting almost diagonal to me that had got a Rolex this year from us. At, um, he got it at the store and he was like almost in tears and he got a Rolex. I don't have a Rolex guys, but some team members now have a Rolex and we want to give out a lot more next year. Just, you know, Rolex can be cool and it's something that doesn't go down in value per se. So it's not just wasting money is what I look at it. Um, you guys, if, if we want to send you guys stuff, do you take deliveries at our office? Yeah, we take deliveries at our office, but you don't have to send us anything. We, we'll we send you stuff. Excellent. Yeah, but if yeah, you send us have, funny stuff, we will bring it on the show. Yeah, here's the office here. I'll send you the address. Uh, yeah, if you send us funny stuff, we'll bring it on the show. So before we hang up, attention, Benzinga, um, like this. What do I need to do? One, campus marshes, suite 200. Detroit, MI. I love Luke's dancing. It was great. That's why I Yeah, I mean, I'm having fun today. Um, Normally, like, we're doing the show. I'm, like, all stressed because I got to run into a call. I got to sell something after the show. I got to, like, you know, I don't know, work on stuff. And, it's like, I'm loose. I'm loosey goosey today. And, yeah, and, you know, C Caesar, who we're testing out to run the, the swag store, he was a fan of the show. And so we're testing him out for a couple of days to run the swag store. We're trying to make it into something that not just Benzinga swag, but. Other things that you'd want as, uh, you know, someone's interested in investing, you know, quotes on your walls. He has total carte blanche to take over the store and do whatever he wants with it. So Caesar, who I think is in the chat right now, he has today and tomorrow, I guess. Today is Wednesday and tomorrow is Thursday. He has these two days to do carte blanche to take over the store. I haven't seen him marketing the link in the chat at all, so maybe he's already bored of it. But if Caesar doesn't want to do it, maybe one of you guys wants, wants to do it. We need to, like, make that store useful for people. And then um, the last thing, there's something I was going to say with that. Ah, Luke, I lo I'm losing it all. I'm losing it, dude. You're going to say, happy trading, hit up Fidelity, hit up E-Trade, and, and give us yeah, some tickers you tomorrow. E e Luke, do we, have an, do we have a Fidelity referral thing or no? Uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, so yeah, if you don't have a Fidelity account, just feel like open it, say you – or don't open it. Go to Fidelity and say, before I open an account, do you guys have Benzinga News? That's not a bad angle, right, Luke? Boom. I like it. It's a boom, very boom, good idea. Boom, boom. And again, and if you don't we, do it today, we, we... Space, space it out. If you don't do it today, do it tomorrow, do it the next day. We don't want it all to come in at once, you know? Yeah. Space it out. You know, like, we'll take care of you guys. What were you going to say, Luke? I was just going to say, uh, uh, again, th this show is, is about the community. It's about Zinger Nation out there. So email powerhour at benzinga.com. Come on the show tomorrow and pitch your stock. Go out of your comfort zone. It's fun. And you'll get and a free I, nickname. And, and I... And I can't say it enough. Don't write one big paragraph. Bullet point or spaces. Any email you send that's more than two sentences and it's in one paragraph, 
is so hard to read. I can't say it enough, okay? Like, I, I, I don't read them. If they're, they need to be spaced. I, it's so hard to read. I go, I go crazy. So if you want to know, um, if you want to know stuff like, um, if you want to know how to drive me crazy, just write me one big long paragraph. I, I go crazy. Or the other thing you can piss me off a lot with is don't reply all. And then people don't know if you communicated. And then elite trading is say we need to talk ASAP. Why do we need to talk ASAP? Um, I, 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 I don't know. Um, tell us in the chat right now, and then that'll help. Um, all right, I have that call, Luke, at 145, the big one for that hopefully international company. We need more business development people selling our data and news to international places. Do you think you can sell and get our stuff delivered? We'll, we'll hire you, because sales, you can show the numbers pretty easily. Do you do it or you do, you do not? It's pretty easy, so we're, the, we're there for you guys. We love you. Follow our Instagram, too. There's about 8,000 people on Instagram. We don't do much with it. If someone wants to take that over, feel free, but I'd like to see that Instagram by the end of this year, about 200,000 people. So take it over, do what you want with it, okay? Uh, we love you. Hot Stocks Luke, Rohan, and Luke, thank you for joining us. Maybe we should take tomorrow off since we went so much extra today. Oh, we're digging Friday off. We haven't said that yet. Okay, Friday off, guys. All right, thank you. Love you guys. And uh, Trump Supporters Club. No, we are we, we are in the stock-making money game, dude. Who cares about Trump supporters? Stock-making money game. Look at our picks. Look at the results. That's what we are. I can't believe someone even asked that. We are in the money-making game. If you're not in the money-making game, get the heck out of here. We don't need your business. Money yeah, making the, the, game. The line that I Drop like to mic. use for, for, for the business, for the stock market, whatever, is give me the rules. I don't care what the rules are. Whoever's making the rules, give me the rules, and I'll figure out how to make money around them. Boom. <laughs> you know, yeah. Caesar just did say Benzinga Store, but he didn't give a link. Come on, Caesar. Make it easier for people. Simplicity is genius. Simplicity is genius. Let's go, Caesar. You got to say limited su su supplies. You got to say, you got to say, yeah, I love that, Frank M. This isn't blue or red, it's green. Got to say limited supply. You got to, you know, so let's do this. Come on. I want to see 10 shirts sell today, Caesar, if you want to take this thing over. Let's go. You got to be going chats. All right. We got to go. Clover's going. BFT is going up. Profitable day for Wait, our is traders. Clove, pull, pull up my screen one more time, Rohan. You got it. <laughs> this day just flipped sort of green for me. <laughs> I was up like $20 when the show started. Now I'm up 600 Is that because of my CLOV? I want to see. No. Uh, wait, that, that's too big of a chart. Nope, not CLOV. All right, something's doing it. I'll have to look after the show. Someone said it. All right. I don't know. All right. All, all right. right. I'll talk Time to you guys later. All right. See you guys. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow. And uh, peace. Make some peace, money. Peace, guys.